Hello Channel Knit viewers, I am DS. Welcome to another episode on Channel Knit. Today, we are going to do an MBTI episode. So today, the topic of our MBTI episode is If you love an INTJ. So the INTJ is the most searched MBTI type in the internet. So for some reason or another, a lot of people seem to be very obsessed with the INTJ. So it could be the INTJs themselves very interested to know more about themselves. It could also be because a lot of other people are very intrigued with the INTJ. As an individual, an INTJ really values personal space and their personal time. And they want to plan and be in full control of most of the things. So when it comes to love, which is really outside their comfort zone, they can feel really vulnerable. And this is why sometimes if you are dating or if you like an INTJ, you do not get clear signals what is really happening to your relationship. So I'm here to help. So let me explain to you what you need to do if you are in love with an INTJ. A problem that many people who love an INTJ encounter is that the INTJ may go on a disappearing act. So you may text them and drop them a message but there is no reply to your message at all. Usually, this will get you very frustrated because you thought that your relationship with this INTJ is going on very well. So it is a mixed signal. Does he like me or does she like me or does he she not? Now let's explain the disappearing act that is very common in INTJs. So they do not mean to disappear. So there are a few reasons. So the three most common reasons that I can think of is that the INTJ may be lost in his or her imagination. So he's imagining things, he's in his zone. When the INTJ is in the zone, they may not have the capacity or the time to reply to you. Another possible reason is that they are really immersed in their work. They have totally lost track of their time. Sometimes an INTJ works so hard that they even forget to take their own lunch or dinner. By the time they are done and they look at the watch, wow, it's already 11 p.m. So they have missed two meals already. Shocking but true for the INTJ. A third possibility of why they are not replying your messages is that they are not ready to reply you. They do not feel ready to reply to you yet. This arises because they have a conflict. It is possible that they do like you and they want to approach you but they do not know how to. In a way, you can treat INTJs as love idiots as they do not have any experience in love, they do not know how to go about it and usually they can only imagine. And sometimes their imagination and reality do not tally, do not match so they need to recalibrate. So what I mean is that sometimes the INTJ may give you a promise and say okay let's do this, let's go out. But sometimes the feelings become so intense that they have to back off because they cannot handle these emotions. So the INTJ may give you a reason that they can't meet you when they have already promised to do so. That's not because they have gone back on their words. It could really be that they are busy and there is a last minute thing that crops out, especially when it comes to work. Otherwise, it may be because they are trying to recalibrate. The feelings in them is so intense that they cannot take it. They need to hide into their shell for a moment. The INTJ does not like feeling vulnerable at all. And love makes them feel very vulnerable. So if you love an INTJ, you need to trust your intuition more. If they like you, somehow or another, using your intuition, you will also realize that If you like or love an INTJ, do not follow conventional logic. Do not believe that if a person likes you, they will approach you. Yes, the INTJ will approach you, but only when he or she is ready. And when he or she is ready, they will definitely approach you. 
they will give you suggestion should we do this or should we do that of course if you are the type that needs to do something about love like ask the person out or message the person then do so but take note the more you try to push your INTJ the more your INTJ will retreat into his or her shell when they are not emotionally ready sometimes they are not emotionally ready because they need to think about all sorts of possibilities between you and him like will my parents like you will this affect my work how is it like if we start to live together what changes must I make to my life all these things they need to figure out in their imagination they need to have different contingencies what if this thing fails what if I live with you and it doesn't work there are a lot of risks for the INTJ to bear so they need to figure out everything first and it takes a long time for the INTJ to figure this out so if you love or like an INTJ you need to be prepared to give this INTJ a lot of time sometimes they may disappear for a very long time maybe months even years but they will return so if you love an INTJ then wait if you cannot wait and you want to cut your losses then find someone else probably the INTJ is not suitable for you take note if you like or love an INTJ and you are still in the dating phase whereby he or she is giving you a lot of mixed signals and not very clear whether he or she wants to move ahead in this relationship do not consult your friends do not ask your friends or anyone for opinions because the INTJ is a rare MBTI type they function very differently from the common public so if you had just asked your friend your friend will just tell you oh no he is not interested she is not interested he's playing games with you no the INTJ is not interested in psychological games at all they are very efficient so no the INTJ is not interested in playing psychological games at all the INTJ's cognitive functions is NI introverted intuition and TE extroverted thinking so what this means is that they value efficiency and they have long-term vision if an INTJ realizes that there is no future between you and the INTJ himself or herself then the INTJ will tell you so because it is efficient to just tell you straightforwardly that there is no future maybe you can find someone else so if the INTJ is in this cliffhanger mode like what next then probably it means that you still have a chance so different INTJs may have different ideals but the INTJ is generally going to admire you more if you display the following characteristics so what are these positive characteristics? Number one, integrity. Number two, courage. Number three, perseverance. Number four, intelligence. If you like or love an INTJ and this INTJ knows about it, then what you can do is just wait. One day, your INTJ will tell you how this can be made possible. Probably now, he or she is in the disappearing act, but actually, this is a break not a breakup he or she is probably thinking about how to recalibrate so that the two of you can work together as a couple in the future because the INTJ is always very future oriented and if you like an INTJ you are in luck because the INTJ is very likely to be a very loyal partner and when he or she decides to be your partner it is a lifelong affair No one can tell how long this INTJ needs to be ready. So it may be just months or it may be years. If you cannot wait for this INTJ, then I would recommend that you move on and seek happiness elsewhere because sometimes it takes a lot of perseverance and endurance to love an INTJ. But if you can survive this, then it is true love. So I hope this episode has given you some insight on the topic of when you love an INTJ.
So if you are loving an INTJ and this resonates with you, do comment below. And if you are INTJ also, am I saying the right thing? Do comment below as well. For our new viewers, we are a psychology channel and we do videos on MBTI regularly. So if you have not subscribed, do consider subscribing. So we will be producing a lot of videos like this one. And before I sign off, I wish the best of luck to all of you people who are in love with the INTJ. Okay, I'll see you again in my next episode. Goodbye!